um, the last 40 years of ministry for them. Brother David surrendered to the call and preached his first message on Sunday, September 3rd, 1972, at the age of 16 years old. Prior to this, he had always been very active in the ministry, playing the piano and organ for churches, evangelists, revivals, tent meetings, rush arbors, and singing groups. After surrendering to the call to preach the gospel, Brother David preached wherever he had an opportunity, pastoring his first church at the age of 19 years old, a Jesus Name House of Prayer in Denny, Arkansas. His parents, William Lonnie and Zeller, was always very supportive of their son in his ministry. Being young, his mom would often go with him to be in the service and back him preaching. His dad always seemed that he had a way and finances to go wherever he had been invited to preach or to help out in the service. Whether Dave and Sister Tinker began dating in September of 1973, they were both 17 years old. Immediately after they began dating, they started singing together with Sister Marilyn Hardy, Sister Tinker's sister. Sister Marilyn and her children became a big part of this ministry, and they still are today. On May 12, 1977, Brother Dave and Sister Tinker were married. This has been a marriage that God has truly blessed. Being in the ministry some 40 years now, they have traveled Arkansas and all of the surrounding states singing and preaching the gospel. Revivals or just a single service, it didn't matter. God would always bless. Altogether, they have pastored over 24 years, pastoring a total of four churches, and had a radio broadcast ministry since 1990. The last church they pastored was the Free Jesus Name Church of Cohill, where they pastored a total of 14 years with an average Sunday morning attendance of 50 to 60 people. Due to illness, Brother David gave up pastoring the church in March of 2005. The doctors had not given much of a chance for recovery. The last six months of 2005, Brother David was an invalid. Sister Tinker had to do everything for him as he was not even able to hold a bus to get a drink of water, feed himself, or care for himself in any way. In January 2006, God began a healing restoration in Brother David's mind, soul, and body. Every day is a better day, and that is why we're here. God is going to finish what he started in our lives. He says we're working. We're going to work for Jesus. Amen. 